after many broken relationships, you got a chance to find a girl of your dream. She's so nice, but not too pretty. And you say, maybe that chance. You sit up, Tuesday morning, 10 a.m., in the third floor in the Hood of Mall. And you are there, slightly before, and you are searching for the girl, what she would be. This one? No. Maybe this one? Or not? <coughs> this 10 is already coming. Your heart is beating. And you can control your breath. Breathe. <laughs> Suddenly, your phone is beeping. Oh, what a surprise. Oh, so, so sorry. I woke up late and I can manage. So, so sorry. You zapped me. What a feeling. What a disappointment. <laughs> Another speech. You applied for a job. For a consultant <coughs> manager in very nice company, and maybe you, and now you see your progress, and your future, and your money, and the car, <laughs> and then the address is somewhere by the river, and the Old Spring Brewery, and by the railway. Bridge somewhere near to Smichovskaya Nadraji. But you not really prepare for it. You have no tool to zap the time to be there in time. <laughs> because there is some traffic problem and you are lost in the Smicho because so complicated. <laughs> and there in the entrance, in the reception, they said you. Elevator doesn't work, but you have to go to fifth floor. <laughs> oh, you are there, but you are completely lost because you don't feel fit and to face the interview. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow member, dear guests, are you the chronic latecomer? <laughs> What about you? What about your preparation? And do you feel frequently shame that you are going quiet and not really prepared? By showing up, you are giving honor. You are saying you are important for me. I want to spend an hour, a day, a whole my life with you. You are saying that in the first beginning of the war, the land was given to people to take care about it, to pluck it, to fertilize it, to sow the seeds, harvest the crops, and eat the food. This is the same way with time. You waste your time and you don't have enough for yourself. Or you save, take careful, and multiply your time and you have enough for everybody. <coughs> A practical example for you. What time you spend today with being in Toastmaster? Two hours? Today meeting is a little bit short, <laughs> maybe one hour and a half. But you have to count the, the way to home, from your home, by the wooden elevator and the <laughs> L-shape L -shape hall. And you have to count the time to buy kebab and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe looking for your manuals that you lost recently. <laughs> It's not time consuming. Some ex Toastmasters said to me, I don't want to go to Toastmasters because it's very time consuming. 
I prepared for my speech two months and I don't feel really prepared. And the Advanced Toastmasters said, I am deliver a speech a week. <laughs> wow, <laughs> how you can do it? <laughs> Changing. Instead of time consuming, use the words time enjoying. Be conscious what you want to do. Imagine your timetable in the week. And say, yes, five minutes in the morning for the preparing my speech. Ten minutes after work preparing my speech. And talking with my kids about what I will going to deliver. <laughs> I'm calling my mother-in-law. Hey, I have an Anna, very nice idea to deliver a speech. <laughs> Enjoy it and change your mind. <coughs> For calling in action. When you leave this room, <coughs> remember, enjoy your time. And your preparation for Toastmaster and preparation to be somewhere ready and in time. Mr. Toastmaster. Mm -hmm.